welcome students let us see a important question from the chapter probability question has been taken from ncrt book of standard 12 here question is determine probability of e conditional to f if a coin is tossed three times where three parts of the question are here first part e is an event which consists of all elements having head on third toss and f having elements consisting of heads on first two tosses okay question is interesting but very important question so let us see the solution here first of all we get sample space all the possible outcomes when a coin is tossed three times so that will be h h h H H T H T H T H H H T T T H T T T H and T T T. In total, eight elements. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So therefore. Ns is equal to Ns is equal to 8. Now event E contains the elements having head on third toss. So we can find out from here head on third toss this one and uh, this one and this one head on third toss. This is third toss. Okay, so one, two, three, and four. These are the elements of event E. H, 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 T, H, T, H, H, and T, T, H. So therefore, N, E is equal to four. One, two, three, four and probability of e is equal to n e by n e by n s n e by n s n e is 4 and n s is 8 so this is 4 by 8 and this is equal to half this is the value of probability of e okay and event f consists of the elements having heads on first two tosses so one is this one heads on first two tosses next heads on first two tosses and no any other element having heads on first two tosses so f contains these elements only h h h and h h t so here n f this is equal to 2 and therefore probability of f is equal to n f divided by n s and this is equal to 2 by 8 and this is equal to 1 by 4 this is the probability of f okay now we have to find out probability of e condition to f so probability of e condition to f the formula is this is equal to probability of e intersection f divide probability of f and here probability of e intersection f means this is m e intersection f divided by m s upon probability of f probability of f we have already evaluated this is 1 by and E intersection F means number of elements common in both the events E and F. So you see only this element is common in both the sets. So only one element is common in sets or events E and F. So this is equal to 1 by and S is 8. So 1 by 8 divided by 1 by 4 and this is equal to 1 by 2. This is the answer.
good we can do it very easily similarly now let us see second part let us write e here e contains of the elements having at least two heads maybe more than two means three heads but at least two heads not less than two heads so this will be h h h h h t h t h and t h h here in this case n e is equal to 4 1 2 3 4 so therefore probability of e in here this is equal to n e divided by n s and this is equal to 4 by 8 this is equal to half correct uh, although we do not need this value here okay in the formula will not require probability of e we will require only probability of e intersection f and probability of f okay now we have to find out probability of e condition to f probability of e condition to f the same formula we will use here this is probability of e intersection f divided by probability of f and we have got this probability of e intersection f here that is 3 by 8 this is 3 by 8 and divided by probability of f is we have calculated it here probability of 8 is equal to 7 by 8 so this is 7 by 8 after simplifying it we are getting this is equal to 3 by 7 so this is the answer of this second part of the equation fine very simple interesting and i am leaving third part of this question for your practice try this question and please comment on the comment box that whether you could do this question or not the question is not difficult try your level best okay so thank you student for watching this video and please remain in touch with this all videos and the channel IQ learning so that we could score well in examination and please share these videos with your friends also if you have any difficulty or you want to give any suggestion please write in the comment box thank you very much for watching this video all the best